Ready when you are, guys. Brilliant. Okay, so we are here, Sonosphere 2010, with the wonderful little fish. Tell me, guys, how was your set? It was absolutely great. We had a really good time. People singing, Nes beatboxing, uh, climbing on things. It was good. It was great. It was fun. Fantastic. And what were the audience like? Because, you know, you were playing on one of the smaller stages. Were they absolutely mad for it? The tent was packed and people were clapping and singing and multitasking. So I'd say it was a surprise. We weren't expecting it, but it superseded our expectations. We really packed the tent out and had a, and had a really great afternoon. So it's good, really good. And so what does it feel like actually being able to say, I've just played at Sonosphere to a packed tent. I mean, are you still completely buzzing? Yeah, freaked out. <laughs> Yeah. Completely freaked out. I just walked around. I was just tweeting. What the fuck are we doing here? But you know, I, I feel like apologising. Can't swear, can I? Oh, okay. I, I just apolo I just apologise because I just feel like an idiot for that because people were there for us and and I over the moon. See that moon over it. So where does this fit into your like you know best gigs you've ever done? Um, best gigs I've done. I don't know. I think it's just another challenge. Basically, we've been really lucky to do some really good supports over the last sort of few months with different variety of bands, and we've always gone down pretty well. I think with the majority of the people, we, we've sort of you know gone and again playing at Sonosphere. It's, it's a bit more of a challenge because the majority of the, the guys that are playing here are more than heavier thing. You know, we aren't quite punky. It's great to be welcomed in that world. Like, yeah, it is. It's great, like, that it's a acknowledged. It's a, it's a proper national big festival, you know, so... We're, we're like the smallest name. I think we're the last name on the poster. Yeah. I think we're... we're well, there's a band number for us. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, we are. We're here. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. We are there. That's quite impressive. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, she made the poster. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it's got to start somewhere, haven't you? <laughs> Absolutely. So tell us all about the new album. Um, the album is uh, it's a representation of our band. You know, it's raw. It's 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 got lots of songs. Um, it's a really bad description of It's got lots album. of songs. Well, do you think it does you justice for a debut album? Yeah, because I think what we've done, we've captured like who we are, you know, as we said to other people as well. It hasn't been very, like, overproduced. We've gone in there and we've obtained the best sounds we can possibly get to make a sound like who we are. A lot of it's very live and a lot, a lot of stuff wasn't done to click track and it was just press record, go in there. I think a lot of bands kind of buckle under the pressure of conforming to the big produced sound, to making everything perfect and I think one of our ethos when we went in was like let's just stay and be who we are. We can always evolve, we can always get bigger, but let's start where we are now and I think that's why we can be happy with it. You know, we just stuck to who we were, we just recorded the, yeah. the songs live and, uh, and once they were good, we'll just leave it at that, no fuss, you know. So, when you're writing, you like to be on your own in a room. How come? I think it's just kind of because I make lots of loud, strange noises that I get a bit embarrassed if people are around. I've got to be free. It's a bit like exorcism, you know? But one day I'll learn not to, but I think it's quite, a, it's quite an intense affair to write. You know? It's a very personal thing. Yeah. Yeah. Even if I'm in the cupboard under the stairs, like when we recorded the album, like we needed some more songs. Um, Linda just sent me off the swimming pool in the morning, and, and, and that was it. I had to have a song ready by the afternoon, so it was quite intense pressure, really. So just had to kind of focus and do it. Well, I mean, we'll look forward hugely to hearing the debut album. I think it's going to be brilliant. Like a year from now, where do you guys want to be musically? 
I, uh, I really look forward to having toured our album, people getting into us, knowing us, and getting into um, recording a second album. Now that we learnt so much about recording process, about live, just about ourselves, We've just been in, thrown into a big, different world. So, we, I think next year, I think our new album will be uh, our next album will be uh, exciting as well. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you very, very much for that, guys. And we will look forward to hearing the album hugely. Thank you so much for your time. Oh,